four others have been hit with steel beads. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have my first experience with 878 Airsoft. So there's going to be three topics on this video. Uh, the first one is going to be uniform confusion. Um, at the very beginning of the day, they split the teams tan versus green and camo. And then there was a bunch of people wearing full on black. So what they did is they took half of them and put them on both sides. So you'd be out in the field, as you can see in these couple clips, you'd be out there and you'd hey, see a person all black and you didn't know if you should shoot them or they were friendly. It was it was honestly super confusing. I wish they would have done tape or armbands of some sort just to clearly show who's on whose side. And we went to lunch and after lunch, they actually changed up the teams to where it was tan and camo versus green and black and I'll show a clip in a second where I shoot a kid and he's like oh I'm on your team so I get up and then I see the guy next to him who's all in black and I was behind a huge group of them and he was arguing with me and it was just he he clearly saw that he messed up because when I called him out on saying man like why'd you say I'm on your team he's like oh I was talking to the guys behind you and you'll see that that wasn't the case hey, we're friendly. what the f Confusing. Like, wh what color are y'all? Like, are you black? What are you? What are you? Dude, we're not on the same team, bro. No, you weren't. I shot you, and then you were like a. I do want to note that I did go up to him and apologize off camera. I was just very frustrated with the whole day and I shouldn't have taken out on him like that because it wasn't his fault. He made a mistake. I should have just got over it, but I did apologize after that. So this next one is someone calling me a cheater. Uh, so just, I was pushed up on a lake very heavy brush next to this lake and they were trying to shoot me through this and they probably went f through four or five mags trying to shoot me through this so it's very windy heavy brush they think they're hitting me they are not they're not even close and one of them yells out i'm gonna go get a ref and this is what happens when the ref comes up yelling at me that he hit me but he never did and I got told about it by multiple people. Wait, what? I'm an admin here. Okay, I never got hit. You can check my GoPro. Right. They were hitting the brush. We, we will only get inside. That's fine. So at least you have video proof. Yeah, they were hitting the brush. Okay, as long as, long as you have video proof, we'll check them again inside. That's fine. Huh? I didn't like how the ref came up to me in that kind of hostile way, kind of feeling that I was guilty already until he noticed the GoPro. But here I just take him back to where I was and this guy starts arguing with me. I kind of keep arguing with him, which I should have just walked away. But this was handled by the refs after the fact professionally. Right here. Right here. Uh, you can see my BBs I dropped. Yeah. I was sitting right here. Yeah, I was. What way are you running? Right there. No, you weren't. You were over there. No, no there's multiple of them. Oh, what way are you running? The pistol? Your pistol wasn't shooting. You were not right there with the rifle at all. No, you weren't. You were back there behind the tree. Dude. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it when we get up. I mean, it's like. I, I, I'm I just trying to look at this brush, dude. 
And the reason I was taking them out was because I was sitting up and I would shoot right between there and they were standing right between those two logs. I'd hit them and they revived each other like 10 times. So I was not right there, dude. I was right here. You could see, you could see the grass down. So after all this, um, the refs start yelling out, everyone go back to your spawn point. So black and green went back to their spawn point. Tan and Camo went back to theirs. And this is what happens. So he tells us everyone take out their mags, they're looking for a special kind of BB. Instantly I think of steel or metal. And so right here everyone is taking out their magazines to be checked. And he comes up to me. And well this this is what he says. I got 14 mid caps for all Well I I've, I've seen your stuff before. I'm pretty good on the I'm not worried about pistol max. I'm looking for that's, rifle max. That's all I use. Rifle. Okay, great. You're good. Yeah, so he wasn't checking my max or pistol max. He was just checking M4 max. And then he, he kind of just doesn't really check that guy because he knows him. I personally, if it was my place, I would have been checking every single person mags pistol mags if someone's shooting metal personally but it's not my call it's their field whatever they do with them and now you'll see the guy next to me someone using metal or something i think someone's using steel they sell them on e bike too steel six millimeter bb's That's very, very dangerous. have been hit with steel beads. Steel beads is an offensive assault, is a, into, uh, what's the word in here? It is intent of assault. I can have y'all arrested and sent to jail for that. Okay? He did what he said to be done. These will barely protect you. I broke, won't protect you at all. It shattered my mic, guys. That's how hard I got hit. So somebody's using a high-powered rifle with this kit. Okay? So, please, if you see any of it, if it comes to you, call for me. Call for an admin. That is, like I said, an arrestable offense, guys. That is assault. Well, we were playing this previous game. I was on that side of the field, and I was hit twice. Real hard. Something hard. Yep. Here and here. This one was there. Yeah. Plastic. It went thunk. It was a super heavy BB or... You got, you got lucky. Feel yes, you will. You, it will probably wash your skin. It will go through most of the skin. So my GoPro died at that point, but that was pretty much all that happened. Um, there was a rumor that they saw people on camera leaving really fast when they checked in mags. I don't know how accurate that is. But yeah, that was my <laughs> first experience 
with the 878. Um, definitely not a good one. But every a lot of the veteran people who've been there a while, they were coming up to me and they were they were apologizing for like the late start, the uniforms and the steel beads. They felt bad that I was that me and my group were not having a great first time and they say this is not normally how it is and I believe them because I've heard so many good things about 878 from online from people where I play they say 878 is one of their favorite fields so I will definitely give them another try but I appreciate every single one of you from every view every like every subscriber I really appreciate it and I'm gonna keep my weekly up schedule my weekly upload schedule and I also post on TikTok and, Insta and Instagram if you guys want to go check that out. But anyways guys, I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you all in the next one.